So to start recreating this beam detail, let's check its layers. Again, it has layer 0 since it is AutoCAD's default layer. And additionally, it has depth points layer since there are dimensions in the drawing. Now, the layers are named according to their function or purpose. And since this is for the beam, therefore, they are named as such but with their specific purpose. For example, this layer is intended for beam reinforcing bars at cross-section. Another layer is for the stirrups, etc. And of course, we have layer for dimensioning. If, for example, you have a much more complex drawing, say a multi-story building, you have to improve layer naming to properly organize them. So we could provide additional prefix to easily identify and locate such layer. Uh, for example, I could uh, name this layer as std underscore beam bars, etc. So std should stand for structural detail and so on and so forth. So you may also use, for example, port floor, etc. Or architectural, etc. So I'll just escape to cancel the renaming. But of course, since uh, we'll only be creating just a beam detail, there's no need to be uh, elaborate. So let's start building up our layers on a new drawing file. So open up a new drawing file and launch your layers palette either through your keyboard shortcuts LA or through the ribbon. Now to create a new layer in the layer palette, you can simply click this uh, new layer icon or press Alt N. But for me, I prefer pressing this icon so just click and layer 1 is added to layer list take note that the uh, name is highlighted so we could immediately rename it okay so let's type the appropriate layer uh, this must be for the beam dash bars and its color is green and let's change the color by clicking this color box just before the uh, color name. So click on the color box. And the select color dialog box appears, which contains Pantone colors with three swatches or palette. Okay, so we have a palette one, palette two, and palette three containing grays. Okay. And we normally specify our colors initially here on the uh, second palette. So, our color must be number 3, color green. Okay, so select on color green. And, by the way, each of these color has their corresponding index color number. And we usually ascribe them as the pen assignment to the line weights of the layers. Thus, since green color is indexed by AutoCAD as uh, number 3, you could associate it with a 0.3 mm line weight, just like your 0.3 technical pen. And similarly, for red, it is indexed as color number 1 and we ascribe it as 0.1. And yellow as 0 0.2. 0.3 for green, 0.4 for cyan, and so on and so forth. And we shall be talking about uh, colors again when we are to plot our drawings. So for the meantime, let's continue building up our layer list. So click OK after selecting color number 3 or color green. Now we don't change the line weight 
here. So just leave it to the default line weight as well as the line weight here on the properties panel. Leave it as is. Leave it to by layer. I repeat, never change this one because you will defeat the purpose of having a layer. You could change this, of course, yes, but in terms of organization and control, you are defeating the purpose of placing your objects under a layer. Okay? So you are overriding your control over that particular object when you change the properties of an object in this uh, panel. Now for the line type, we could uh, change it here on the layers palette, but its current line, the continuous, which is a solid line, is just fine as indicated on our uh, reference drawing. And again, never override the object properties here on the uh, properties panel or on the properties palette. So just click OK. And for the next layer, beam outline color yellow. So new again. So click this icon. And then let's type beam dash outline. And then select the color 0.1 or red. Oh, I'm sorry. It must be yellow. The so 0.2. And then the next layer, stirrups, which is red. So new again. And then beam dash stirrups. And then click again on the color box. And then choose this time red as 0.1. Then OK. Of course, you cannot yet uh, reproduce depth points because we haven't uh, created yet a dimension. So, let's create a layer for dimension, which is color number 11. So, new again. So, click on this icon. And then, type dimensions as its uh, new name. It's dimension or dimension. Dimension. So, dimension. And then, color 11. Okay. So, we have here color 11. So, there are around 255 colors in AutoCAD Pantone colors. So, color number 11. And then, okay. Oh, maybe let's uh, select a different color for our dimension. Let's uh, try to choose uh, number 9. Okay, so maybe let's assume that it would represent a uh, 0 0.09 mm line weight so it's lesser than 0 0.1 for the red so that we have a better contrast later on between the dimension lines and the object lines okay so let's uh, select instead of number 11 select number 9 on our swatch or palette and then click ok so that would provide, hopefully, a better contrast between a uh, 0.1 and a 0 0.09. And let's uh, change its color when it's printed later on to a lighter color than the solid black. Maybe dark gray. 